All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Janasu stream for November the 11th. Happy Remembrance Day. Is that is that the proper greeting? That's probably not the proper greeting for uh, Remembrance Day is to tell people Happy Remembrance Day. But I hope you had a happy one anyways. Mine was all right, I guess. We'll see how much better it gets uh, going into the stream here. So, yeah, we finished the main story of this Gaia 5 yesterday. Uh, we're not really done done Disgaea 5 because there's like a thousand hours of post-game content to do but I don't want to do nothing but post-game Disgaea 5 content for the rest of my life so I'm going to play some other games from time to time while we're working through that and the game I've chosen for today is Tales of Majayal kind of a favorite here on the Jasu stream I was playing a bit of this uh few days ago actually uh, off stream and hello well okay this up here isn't actually a problem for the game it just means oh this is the news feed so that means the uh, the Tales of Majel site is probably down does that mean they're not gonna let me connect to the network can I act is this act I know this game isn't always online I'm pretty sure we can just log off if it uh, does not want to let me play but uh yeah that would be annoying so anyways uh the the class that i played when i was uh playing off stream a couple days ago was the summoner and it was actually a good time i don't i don't play summoner that often it's probably one of my least played classes i don't think i've really messed around with summoner since i started learning the game really because, yeah, the Summoner is likely to be one of the first classes you unlock when you're uh, first learning the game. You unlock it uh, just by watching an enemy summon something in front of you. And there's a really common enemy, like basically the, the trees. Uh, the, the, the tree enemies in, what's it called? The woods area. I forget what it's called. But, yeah, you know, the woods level, the forest you go into, which is like a pretty, like a re relatively early game dungeon. Uh, well summon something pretty much 100% of the time. So you're basically guaranteed to see this within your first few attempts at the game. And uh, yeah, I tried it out back then and I didn't... It, it seemed fun, but not super strong. So I kind of left it alone and haven't really touched it much since then. They tell you here that your most important stats are willpower and cunning, which is actually an important thing. I will note in a second. Oh yeah, so I decided that sort of similar to what we did after the Final Fantasy V for Job Fiesta, we will name our character here in honor of the uh, Disgaea V playthrough we just did. There's not really any of the main characters in Disgaea V who are really very summoner-ish. Uh, the closest there is in the game is uh, one of the villains who apparently you can get in your party in the post game, so this will work well enough. So in honor of Disgaea 5, we're going to be playing Margarita the Summoner. Although I, I actually didn't think of a class yet. Uh, what's a good class for a Summoner? Well, okay, it says that we want... The, the thing is that... You can go based on the stats here when you're picking your race. Like we see, yeah, these guys have willpower and cunning. Those are stats we like. This guy's got willpower but no cunning. Really the most important thing in determining the synergy between your race and your class is uh, actually the generic talent tree of your race. But I don't actually have them all memorized. We're just going to go Shalor anyways just because... Uh, you know, Shalor are like the elf people of Majael, and they have pointy ears, and so did Margarita in Disgaea 5. So we're just going to go with that. Oh yeah, now that they've loaded up the level, uh, let's get the music on. Okay. Nice and relaxing. Just kind of chill out to close out the weekend. I guess it's going to be a long weekend for most of you out there. I actually uh, work pr 
pretty much all holidays and uh, certainly all Sundays. Oh, does this uh, not... Did it not update my... Oh, well, I'll be damned. Oh, you know what it is? Yeah, thank you, uh, thank you. Hello, Telerath, and thank you for the update, uh, or uh, for the correction there. What it, what it is, is this is annoying, but uh, OBS always asks me to put in the, the name of the stream and the game that I'm streaming before I go live, even though I usually do that in the Twitch dashboard before I do that. The thing is, though, if I change it in the Twitch dashboard, well, OBS is already open, OBS won't respect that and it'll still ask me to type it in and if I don't it'll go with the last thing I did so that's why it uh, didn't update the game there because I didn't update it in OBS okay so we're all corrected and sorted out we are playing Tome and not Disgaea 5 although we are named after a Disgaea 5 character appropriately enough uh, so yeah, we definitely, or, I don't know, meditation is not super useful, I don't think. It's, it's sometimes good, like, between fights, if you need to recover equilibrium. Although that's not really going to be a problem until we get to the, kind of the first dozen levels or so. Then we can start having, like, just pumping out summons, get a bunch of them at once. Uh, might as well grab that, and... Might as well grab this, too, as a prerequisite, I guess. We're probably never going to cast this or remember to cast it. Um, so I think I'm just going to get all of these for now. You, you can only have two summoned at once. And this was the big thing that I learned uh, on my last uh, summoner run that I attempted, is this thing right here. If you actually look at this here, <laughs> uh, the summoner class has a unique benefit from cunning where it increases the maximum number of summons you can have on the field. I did not know that uh, the first few times I played the summoner class, so I only ever had like uh, one or two summons out at a time. I didn't realize you could uh, increase that limit by pumping up cunning. And if you look at your class skills here, none of them scale with cunning, so you don't really have any reason to put any points into it. Other than the fact that, you know, yeah, you get uh, maximum sun summons for it which is uh, really, really important. I'm going to put a point, extra point into dogs because they're kind of our main offensive thing right now. Oh, this, this is all wrong. Oh, wow, that's how, that's how long it's been since I've played Summoner. Is Yeah, my uh, key bindings are all out of whack. This is not at all the way I uh, usually have my keys set up. Uh, I'm almost tempted to just make the first thing we do, uh, go out and, uh, just replace these shitty runes with, uh, some shitty inscriptions. But, uh, we'll see if we can get through the scintillating caves here. Whoa. Oh yeah, Archmage is another one that I haven't uh, played in a long time. A lot of the starting classes, I, I tended not to... Like, I played them back when I first unlocked them, and then, you know, never again. Oh dear. Uh, because, like, I, I, I tend to... Yeah, I don't know if anyone who watches the stream has noticed this. I tend to always play the newest and hottest classes. So whenever I unlock a class, I'll uh, play that a bunch. And you know, so the old classes, the ones we started with, the ones that I unlocked way back when I was first starting the game, those ones I haven't played in uh, quite a while, several of them. Oh, I didn't even remember that Archmage was an unlock. I thought it was one of the starting classes, but uh, yeah, you're right. I, I think you're right, actually. It is, I don't even remember how you unlock it, but it's one of the easier ones to unlock. Same with Summoner. Summoner is like maybe just straight up the easiest class in the game to unlock. You know, it's a relatively straightforward one to play too. I'm surprised that they start you with the freaking uh... Oh my. Oh, that's my dog there. But yeah, I'm surprised they start you with the Alchemist and not the Summoner, because I think the Summoner is a much more accessible 
kind of uh, magical summoning class. So yeah, you can see we only got one. Man, I really wish you... Oh boy. I really wish you could have vision of your summons. Oh boy. Oh, that's right. Those guys are straight up immune to fire. Yeah, this is a bad starting, uh, starting dungeon for summoners. Because, yeah, one of your main sources of damage is the, fle is the fire spitter. And he only does fire damage. And a bunch of enemies in here are immune to fire. You know what? Let's just get the turtle here to tank the ice. Yeah, sum Summoner, I think, has a pretty rough early game. Just because that limit of one summon is really restrictive. And also your summons don't last very long until you put some points into them. So you're often just straight defenseless a lot of the time. Oh yeah, speaking of defenseless, uh, let's put some clothes on. Um, it's, it, it's, I guess you can play it that way. It's, it's, it's mostly the fact, I think, that the, just a lot of fiddliness with the interface if you really want to mess with your golem and like optimize it, you know, tweak out his, uh, skills and eventually his equipment take control of him during battle and uh get him to do smart things uh change his ai settings like there's a lot of tweaking i think that goes into that class if you really want to play it effectively whereas the the summoners you get from the summon are less like management heavy you can just summon them send them out and if they die just summon new ones they don't like have any skills or anything they basically just you know tackle the enemy and that's about it i guess that's the other thing i i i guess tricky to use and requires a lot of tweaky micromanagement is a synonym for not good in this game because <laughs> a lot of the easier classes to play are just super strong is the reason why you don't have to think too much while you're playing them. I, although I didn't make it super far with the uh, summoner. It felt like a really strong class once I kind of got it going. The thing was is, as usual, um, I opened up a digestive sack that I shouldn't have and I died. Oh, this guy's going in the wrong fucking direction. Oh boy. I guess I, I guess we don't have to go pure summoner. I, c I don't have to wait around doing nothing. This is bad times right here. See, the thing is, if I go forward, he's going to go into the space I left and get hit by the ice. Uh, this is a bad map or a bad dungeon for escorts. And now we're summonerless. Summon lists. No, there he is. He's just not shooting things. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, one of them's hitting the other guy. Yep, there. that's exactly what I said was going to happen. I go forward and it hits the escort. Fucking hell. Yeah, I should not. I should not have come here. I should have gone out. I should have gone and done Trollmire first if I were uh, thinking straight. Get the fuck back, you idiot! We're probably just gonna die here. Is what's gonna happen? Up oh, there he goes. Turtle strats. Oh, hey, it actually worked. Okay, cool. Just follow the turtle. Okay, and there's our level up. I'm really tempted to just pump uh, Cunning here. Just... Okay, we don't get enough. We don't get summons out of it anyways. Yeah, you know, I was going to do some reading on the wiki. I, I was, yeah, trying to check it out at work, actually, and I noticed it was down. Um, 
Yeah, I think we just basically just pump wolves early game so that they'll stay out longer is basically the idea here. Do we even want to save our generics for anything? Oh, probably Nature's Touch, yeah. Oh, um, he's like going to his death, isn't he? Oh, no, he's not. He's going to freedom. Okay, I can't believe that both of us survived all of that. Um, hmm. Oh, you know, I was considering putting one of my generics in here anyways. Ooh, track could also be good here, too. We also like cunning. But I think a skill point, even a generic skill point, is better than a stat point. So we'll go with this. That's actually pretty handy. Man, I wish I had two summons. Uh, if we put him here, we can shoot him both, I think. If he doesn't die, he died. Die, caramba. Do I even have weapons? Oh, we're, that's right, we're a Mind Star class. I like how he gets the first strike right after you summon him. But yeah, once we hit the threshold to get two summons, we're basically going to double our firepower. Until then, though, yeah, like I said, uh, summoner, really weak early game. You know what, I think I just want to pop the shield just to absorb the burning. I think I should actually summon, summon my uh, Flame Spitter against anything that isn't immune to fire. That way I can, I can ensure that my wolf is always off cooldown whenever I do encounter a fire immune enemy. Anything good? Oh hey, I was actually looking for one of these. This is actually better than the starting, uh, well way better than the starting regeneration, so that's good. I think this might be better than our starting phase door for what it's worth. Eh, not really. Ooh, early amulets. Uh, that's not amazing, but it's better than nothing. Fucking hell, what did I just say about this place? What are you guys doing here? This is no place for escorts. Oh, which way is he going? He's going the wrong way again. I didn't think there was even going to be anything down here. Skeleton archers? At this time of year, in this part of the country, I don't think I've ever seen skeleton archers in, uh, the scintillating caves. Oh, is that a follow there? I'll go see who you are in a second, my newfound friend. Is turtle even worth it? Oh, seriously, seriously? <laughs> what is this shit? Okay, so we got two crystals, one of them fire immune, and the boss in front of the fucking portal. And it's an alchemy, or actually, I don't know if we care. Actually, you can go anti-magic with summoner too, because, uh, yeah, summoner is considered anti-magic. Okay, let's put this up. Jesus. I think we might just have to leave this guy for dead. Okay, we're somehow alive after that. You know, I'm just gonna put this on this guy and we'll... Whoa, shit. Oh, uh, yeah, I should have, uh... There we go. Oh, it starts on cooldown. Okay, is he gonna sit... If I sit here, will he sit there? Actually, let's just, let's just off-screen this motherfucker. Is that him dead? He killed my rich flame spitter. 
That's not coming towards me, right? Like, he can't see me. Uh... Uh, so that's not good. <sighs> just we just summon them one by one. Uh, so that's not good. My turtle was frozen. do it. I'm tanking for my summon here. This is kind of the opposite of how you want it to go. Holy shit, we st we're still doing it. Oh wow, we got like three levels out of that too. Okay, so yeah, we don't want any of this magic shit because I might want to go anti-magic here. At least for a little while just to get uh, Mind Star Mastery. And all of these skills are magic. Oh, right, and I completely forgot to thank Kablam for the follow there. Thank you for the follow, Kablam. I do appreciate it when people like the stream enough to follow. Or even if you don't, frankly. I know some people just like to follow the games and see whoever's playing the games they like right now. I'm like that with a few games. I'm actually like that with Tales of Majael. There's a few streamers who I, uh sort of watch, play Tales of Majael, but I never bothered to follow them because I can just see when they're online because I'm following Tales of Majael. So I can see when anyone goes online when they're playing that game. This game. Uh, let's spend our points before we go doing any other stupid shit. Okay, so this is going to be good for us. Is there even anything else we want here? I might actually want to pump this up a little bit. No, we'll, we'll put it all in healing. Oh, we probably want to... Uh, we want to start going into the strength a little bit, too. Also... Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Tome is... It, it might even be in my top five games. It's certainly my number one roguelike. I would, I would go that far. Um, yeah, I think it's okay. So we definitely max out wolves. Wolves will be like our primary summon right now. I've not really messed with spider before, so I think we'll go summer. We kind of need Hydra. Hydra is like your only source of AoE. So we'll go... I don't even know what spider does. Oh, poisons and throws webs. That sounds... Or I guess pinning can be alright if you're playing keep away with like a big enemy. Honestly, I think maxing out Rich and uh, Wolf might just always be the best starting move with this class. Oh yeah, that's right, we can get two dudes now. Oh god, Rod of Recall on four? Man, it really has been ages since I played this class. Oh, that's interesting. I can actually see that, because Tome is very different from a lot of more traditional roguelikes. It really feels... I, I, it, I think it's even like the slogan or catchphrase of the game, that it's like a roguelike for the modern age. Or something like that. And it really does feel like a more of like a modern design than a lot of other roguelikes. In particular, it, it really does feel like just a turn-based Diablo to me. Which is basically everything I want in the world. So yeah, big, big fan of the tome. I was actually thinking about this when I was playing the Summoner last time I tried it. In my opinion, Diablo 2 kind of has, like, the quintessential Summoner in all of video games. Like, if you think of Summoner 
as like an archetype for a player character in an RPG. Uh, Diablo 2 really has the best summoner in video game history in the Necromancer. Necromancer in Diablo 2 is just like summoning hordes and hordes of skeletons and they run all over the screen and you buff them up and they tank enemies for you and there's so many skeletons. It's just wonderful. There's nothing and nothing else. There's nothing else in video games quite like it. Quite like being a summoner in uh, Diablo 2. Like, yeah, even Diablo 3 didn't even come close. It's like, what, Diablo 3 gives you, like, two dogs and a golem, and that's your army of summons? Like, come on, give me a fucking break. This game doesn't really have anything approaching that either, but the summoner here eventually becomes kind of close. Your, summon your summons are temporary. This doesn't even do anything. I'm just going to wear it for style. Your summons are temporary, but you can, like, push out a lot of them all at once, eventually. Oh, you know what? I never... I haven't actually played Diablo 3 uh, since they put out the Necromancer. I guess it wasn't the patch, it was DLC. Was it like, wasn't it like $15 DLC for the Necromancer? I think that's why I passed on it. Uh, we can do that right now. I don't think it's going to lock us out of anti-magic if we go here. Oh yeah, that was some mysterious thing that happened. Uh, on the last summoner attempt I made is for some reason... They locked me out of the anti-magic village, even though I didn't have any magic. It was really weird. Like, basically, I think, I think the way the game determines magic is just, uh, do you have any spells that have the is magic flag? Like, if you look at this... Yeah, if you go down to uh, is over there, you see you should... Travel speed, usage speed is. This is a nature gift, a mind power, and a summon power. If, if, and if you have any spell that says is a spell, then you're then the anti-magic guys get pissed off at you and fight you and don't let you into their village. Oh yeah, runes count for that too. So if we want to go anti-magic, uh, we have to replace all of our runes with infusion, which I'm actually fine with. Although, I don't know. Shield is pretty good for us. We're not really going to have a giant health pool to tank damage if something gets past our summons. Yeah, there's certainly less micromanagement involved with the like modern summoner classes in a lot of modern games. That was the thing about Diablo 2, it was kind of a snowball thing, where it's like you build your army of skeletons and then you just roll over everything that you come across until you come across something that just stomps on all of your skeletons and then you gotta go spend like 20 minutes finding new skeletons. <laughs> it takes it takes a while to get the ball rolling again. I guess, okay, so if we're not gonna tank stuff a bunch, I guess we could go with a movement infusion? Except the wizard, though. I'm actually gonna hold off on those, and we'll check out the other. Uh, we'll check out the other towns for bitter infusions. What I really want is something that scales on willpower. Or what are even the ones I'm looking for? Movement would be good. We definitely want uh, wild, a physical wild. What we even want here? I guess the cunning. Three points of cunning is our best option there. Uh, the healing is not going to do much for us. Magical mental? Freaking your magical mental. This is going to be the way of it. We're going to find zero physical infusions here. I guess I just could do... Like, just go do Trollmire right now. Oh, you know what? Uh, being a Shalor 
locks you out of anti-magic anyways, so I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, we're not going to be able to go, go anti-magic at all uh, this game. Right, because the last summoner I played was a higher. And yeah, they can go anti-magic, but Shalor cannot. So in that case, we might as well keep our shielding rune. There we go. Sneak isn't amazing, but it's good enough. 13 cooldowns, not bad too. I'll actually just take this. Uh, we'll lose Phase Door, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Phase Door is just worthless. I don't know why but anyone would want Phase Door. I mean, I'm sure it has some use that the Tome Wizards out there have discovered, but I've never found one. Compared to, like, remove a physical status effect or... You know, just run away 10 spaces in one turn, or shield a bunch of damage. It doesn't really stack up. Yeah, what am I thinking? This is Trollmire. We don't need to think too hard about Trollmire. Oh, okay. Unless uh, the enemies all pop out in one place. Seriously, no green mind, star mind stars yet? Oh, you know what? At some point I should start uh, pumping strength a little bit so that we can equip the uh, heavy armor. Oh yeah, we need to get our flame spitter power way up there. Oh, hello. Oh god, there's two of them. Uh Oh yeah, uh speaking yeah. Ideally, enemies will never be adjacent to us, but I just want to make sure I don't forget that. Archie, let's try out this spider. I guess I guess it was even though it was a rare monster, it was just a swarm of worms. Even the rare swarms of worms aren't typically that tough. Oh, like you don't have enough things to spend your mana on. Well, I mean, it's better than being a freaking spell blade where you're like hovering at 20 mana the whole time and have to wait like every other turn to be able to cast your spells. At least that's what happened last time I tried to play spell blade. Oh, you want to... Okay, so yeah, you do want to just dump a bunch of mana then for one of your other skills. Ooh. Uh, that's a nice upgrade. We'll probably keep that for long for a long time. Oh, wow. Summons everywhere. Or bleh. Uh, escorts. Escorts everywhere. Also summons everywhere, too. Almost as many as there are escorts. Come on, what are you doing? What are you doing? Honestly, if there are, if there are enemies in range, there is no reason for our flame spitter to ever waste his turn freaking moving. Uh, so yeah, that's right. We don't need to care about uh, taking spells and uh, losing out on anti-magic anymore. Nevertheless, uh, I don't think I'm ever going to get the mana to use those, so we'll just improve willpower. That was kind of pointless. Okay. 
Feels feels like it's been forever since we got a level up. Okay, I was just curious to see just how pathetic our turtle was with his attack power. Turns out turtles are pretty bad at, at attacking things. Turns out that bugs are too. I gotta get some points in that guy. I don't know, should I get staffs for this guy? Is staff summoner a thing? It feels like I should have some kind of like long range nuke to support my boys here. Although that's right, uh, the staff projectile is like a, a magic skill that costs mana. So I guess even if we did go staff, all we could do is club things with it. Hello. I'm burning. Is this like a wizard? Oh my god, Arcane Kana. <laughs> this freaking Spellblade troll. Um, okay. Uh, start with this to shield the burnings. Go with this. Oh, wow, that was way... I guess our dog is tougher than I realized. Oh, yeah, we got five points in him. Uh, now, do we get slimes or do we start leveling up Flame Spitter? Jellies do not move. Okay, so this helps you recover your equilibrium. We don't really need to worry about that yet. So we'll just keep pumping willpower. Uh, yeah, we'll just keep pumping our healing skill, too. And, I don't know, I'm sure something useful to spend the rest of our generics on will eventually come up. Oops, wrong one. Uh-oh. Nope, actually, that's all fine. Wow, is it just me or did that one point in Flame Spitter make a massive difference? this? Is this a fucking anorithal in Trollmire? Oh my god, it is. Okay, these guys can basically two-shot you if you're not careful. So I think I'll probably want to paralyze him or whatever. Snare him with a spider if I can. Okay, uh, Rich isn't doing not much for us, and neither is the spider. I think we got Trog coming up soon. Or whatever his name is. The boss. Whoa, shit. Uh, AoE. All right, the spider. The spider poisons people. These are poison dragons. What am I summoning spiders for?
Oh, there he is. Oh yeah, that's right. It's, yeah, this guy in this version of this map. I'm actually gonna hold my other summon. Oh wow, that went way faster than I was expecting. Oh, and we got a file too. Actually, these are these are both slots that we don't have yet. I don't think we want any of this stuff. Yeah, I think I like that physical resistance on our current hat for now. Oh, shit. All right. Okay. So you want to have a summoner's duel. Oh, come on. There we go. My dog's bigger than yours. We got levels. Uh, what do we? Put? Yeah, probably just more flame spitter. Do we even want device mastery? I'll, I'll, I might as well hold on to the points until we find something that we actually want to uh, use a bunch. Nope, still haven't maxed out Will. Yeah, I'm positive that my dog is just gonna aggro everything in a second here. So we're just gonna hang back, in fact. Oh boy. That's not gonna last long. Holy shit! That's my boy! I did not realize that dogs... What, what do you even get for extra points in dog? Oh wow, okay, he's got 102 strength. That, that explains it. It's a lot better than our 10. That, that, that explains why he's, uh, yeah, hitting harder than us. And another level up and more options. Might as well take this. Yeah, Shalor was a terrible choice, I think, for... Uh, no, not, not a terrible choice, but not a great choice for Summoner. This'll be alright. This doesn't help us much. Oh yeah, we don't use either of those stats. Yeah, that's terrible. We aren't really hitting stuff, so this is terrible. And I guess this one's always alright. Uh, hmm. I like... Okay, putting summons off cooldown is actually really good. Like, we're all in on these two summons right now, pretty much, so actually reducing their cooldown is on a, is probably better than uh, getting new ones, so we'll start with that. Do 
we really need this much willpower? Okay, now we got maximum healing. Oh, hey, a real cloak. Oh, and I think we're fully slotted now. Lose light resistance, lose healing mod, gain light radius. Eh, I think we like our current one. I noticed my encumbrance was really high. I must have a lot of uh, obsolete crap in my inventory. Oh yeah, we can dump this. There we go, that'll do it. Oh, hey. Mind power, that's actually really good. Okay, since I've remembered now that I can't go anti-magic anyways, uh, I'm gonna actually seek out a uh, better shield if I can. Ooh, baby. Ooh, 17 cooldown is a lot, though. Although, what's our current one? Eh, only three extra turns for twice as much defense. Whoops. Uh... Yeah, I think I'm going to take that. And it's going to scale up as we uh, pump up the willpower. Tempted to dump regeneration, actually. I could just get movement. But I'll hold off and see if I can find a better movement. Because, yeah, we've got a healing spell for all of our healing purposes anyways. Regen and, and we won't have enough of a health pool to get uh, much use out of regeneration. That'll be acting much too slowly. Okay, so we got some more movement infusions, but they're not as good. You know what? I'll just clear this shit, too, while I'm here. Oh, and uh, how do we want to do this? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so that's that one. That's that one. Wow, what's the radius on that? 15. Oh, whoops. Didn't even see that guy there. Oh, this is the shitty version of uh, the forest here. Oops. actually got killed by or my dog got killed by a wolf uh, that's bad times whoa
Oh, I forgot to... Yeah, it kind of annoys me how you have to re... re-enable the auto-use whenever you uh, get a new shield rune. Actually, is there a way to... Like a way to auto unuse, because I want to. If I were to keep to make use of meditation, I would actually want to deactivate it when we uh, see enemies. Oh well, we aren't really burning through equilibrium uh, quickly enough to really care at this point. Actually, your summons get a percentage of my crit chance, don't they? Damage percent, stun pin. Oh, guess not. Yeah, we'll just ignore all of these then. I don't know what to put points into, so we're just going to hold on to them. Oh, right, in my class points. We'll go rich again. We'll max out Wolf and Rich, and then start uh, building up the others. Ooh. Yeah, it seems like a good deal. Oh, that was fast. Some boss that was. Oh shit. Oh, revenge from the um, beyond the grave. There we go. That always seems too weird to me that those freezing auras persist after after the enemy's dead. Oh, that's gonna fuck me up forever. I hate how it keeps the level up message there. Just when I decide to hold on to points. Okay, so that's all our starting dungeons done with. Okay, so we're still on the lookout for movement infusions, if we can get them. And it looks like we can't. I guess I'll go back for that 400% one. Or unless we can find an amazing rune right here. Nope. right now. Usually I'm level 10 by the time I clear out the starting dungeon uh, dungeons and do the lumberjack village. Uh-oh.
Oh, hey, that whole pinning thing actually kind of worked for us. I like the synergies of uh, all your di the different abilities of your summons. It's like you get spiders and or turtles to lock them in place. Flame spitters to hit them from afar. You can bring them in to kind of body block for you when you're running away. Although, I, I guess the one thing about the summoner class that I've kind of seen so far is it seems like a bit of a one-trick pony. Like, some classes, there are multiple ways you can build them. Uh, sort of different approaches you can take to them. Like, there are different summoners, or uh, different summons that you have that have different abilities. But the class in general is kind of the same strategy. Like, there is no... Like, in Diablo 2, you could play a non... Uh, summoning Necromancer, for example, and just do, like, the whole, like, bone magic freezing or whatever route. Whereas you don't... In this game, you don't really have any options. Like, we literally don't have any, like, nukes or magic spells or no ability to attack whatsoever. We can do absolutely nothing but just summon more dudes. Oh, hey, we got a category point. Although I guess, I guess that changes if you decide to spend your category point on combat techniques, which I don't think we're going to do. Why is this even an option? Why would anyone do this? We're probably just going to spend it on a extra inscription. Increases all of its stats by six when his stats are all over a hundred, right? Okay, blow him up. Blow him up. That sounds like fun. Twenty-five second cooldown is not great. Some of these effects are really good, though. That spider one, pin foes all around. Ooh, this might be essential later on, actually. Because, yeah, at some point of our summons start dying too quickly. Oh, and then they... So they would last longer and have more health. Okay, I'm tempted to put a point in here just to start working towards that. Oh, and, it, oh, and these are... This is... Uh, this tree, you can start uh, putting points into it at level 1, too. Most of the categories you can unlock, like, most of the unlockable categories have, yeah, they start with level 10 skills. So, like, for example, if we wanted this skill, we couldn't even start putting points into it until level 18, which means you might as well just wait and you wait two levels and use your level 20 category point to unlock this one. This one, though, we can do right from the start. I'm not terribly impressed with these. Other than that third skill, I'm not too impressed with those. Reduce the cooldown by 7%. That's not amazing. Like, these summons are all, like, 10-second cooldowns. That's like... Like, yeah, 0.7 turns that you're saving. Or I guess these other ones might be longer. Okay, 18 seconds, 15, 20. Okay, so I guess that's better for the longer cooldown, guys. Oh, okay, so this makes them, like, do nukes on entry. What's, what's got you mad, Telorath? I don't know. If all of these are just, like, more damage, then I don't think I'm going to care about. 
oh, was that a, uh, what's your call it, uh, like whiffed in that you just, uh, they just didn't teleport you far enough? That happens. Or did you have like one piece of anti-magic equipment equipped? That still happens to me sometimes where it's like I'll have, I'll have one really awesome piece of anti-magic equipment and it's like, eh, I've only got one rune that I don't use that often. It'll be fine. And it turns out I need that one rune to save my life once and it doesn't work. See, that, that's, what I'm, that's what I've been saying. That's why runes suck. You gotta go with the, uh, the inscriptions and the, uh, the movement infusion. That's where it's at. Unless you're, like, undead, then you're just boned. Literally, in most cases. You know, because you're a skeleton. Interesting. This looks like decent stuff, actually. I think we want to put points into the summons themselves first. Like, we got more than enough points worth of stuff here to put our points into for the next ten levels. So I think I'm just going to take the inscription. <laughs> I think I'm just going to learn these new summons, maybe? Oh, you know what? No, we'll get our last rich point, and then... I like this Minotaur idea. Oh, this is another source of AoE, actually. We might want that. Because, yeah, our dogs are kind of doing what the Minotaur would do anyways. We'll take the tree, and I guess we'll just, yeah, continue holding on to generic points. Oh yeah, and apparently, yeah, we're going to be holding on to even more generic points in a second, because the next order of business is the arena. You know, I'm surprised they haven't, like, shaken up the alchemy subquest rewards in the last few patches. Some of them just seem so unbalanced. The Hermit in particular, where it's just the two class points are infinitely better than the others, no matter which class you're playing, it seems like. try out our new tree buddy once he gets in range. There we go. Might as well do the rich too. Okay, so far so good. Okay, that was maybe the easiest arena I've ever had. Not that the arena's ever particularly challenging, but... Right, and that got us two generic points, which I... Hmm. Yeah, I'd... in the future I don't think I'd do a Shalor Summoner, just because I really want to do the anti-magic village uh, to get that Ma Mind Star Mastery unlocked. Oh, maybe I should have used my category point on this. I didn't even think to look at these. Yeah, considering that we've got nothing to spend our generics on, too. Yeah, that's even more reasons to... Yeah. Oh, well. Next time. Uh, so I guess gonna, we're going to get to work on the next level dungeons. Oh, yeah. I might as well go get my last alchemy quest while we're here. Huh. 
Uh, four stat points versus Mag Will. Yeah, I'll probably just take Mag Will. Oh, I might as well check out the runes while I'm here too. Well, that's a lot of mana surge. That's not terribly helpful. Okay, I'm gonna go start up some more tea. I'll be back in just a second. Oh shit, I didn't expect this to happen already. I'm actually just looking at my stream here. Is my head too big? I'm sitting a little bit closer. I found kind of a more comfortable arrangement for when I'm playing keyboard in mouse games, but I notice now that I'm a little bit closer to the camera than usual, and my head looks huge. Maybe I can shrink this down a little bit. I don't know, am I too tiny that way? Eh, I think I'm fine with this. Maybe just a little bit bigger. Eh, that's fine. Honestly, who gives a shit? Uh, okay, here's what we do. Yeah, I, I feel like that's probably most streamers. Or, uh, probably get more anal retentive about little things like that, the size of interface bits and how they look on camera and all that stuff. That, that, that streamers will tend to care more than their viewers do about that kind of stuff. Most of the time it's really not that big of a deal for most people. The fuck is this guy? Oh, he's an archer. Ah, uh, that's kind of bad. Oh, that was the wrong one. I wanted this one. To make sure that he can't do that and get away from me. Oh, and he's just gonna charge back in anyways. Oh, but my Rich doesn't have a light source, so I can't get them anyways. I was thinking I'd be all clever, and it's like, aha, I know they're there, so I'll send the Rich in. But yeah, he, he can't see in the dark, apparently. Oh, can I just summon another one? Can I summon two of the same guy? Oh, it looks like I can't.
Man, considering how powerful your summons are on their own, maybe... Maybe it would be overpowered if you gave just a straight-up nuke, like, long-range nuke or something to your summoner. Like, it's certainly a radically diff uh, different playstyle than, like, the Alchemist, who actually supports his summoned buddy a little bit. This guy is just like, okay, you guys go to it. I'm gonna hang back here. Actually, this is basically free, so I might as well take it. I've got an open slot right now. Uh, oh, right, I've got that nothing belt right now. Yeah, we'll take that. Oops, why did I do that? Oh my. Uh, that was a lot of damage. I think he's like here. Ah, perfect. up for that magic threshold where we get uh, three summons. Ah, now we got a billion generics. Yeah, this is what I was afraid of. I have, by the way, I have not found a single Mind Star this entire run. Or, okay, I found like three or four Mind Stars, but they're all like normal ones that are just as bad as my starting equipment. Not a single, not even a magical Mind Star. I don't even need like a rare or an artifact or whatever. Just like a regular mind, or you know, a magic mind star would be fine. Is something hitting me from across the room? What the fuck? Flame spitter must have got it. All right, tea is ready.
we got a tree trunk. Yep, we've got a tree trunk. Actually, you know what? This healing infusion is better than our regen infusion. Just because, yeah, the ability to clear poison is good when we're on this low health. Like, we could be potentially killed by poison. Just, like, take 200 damage over time and be left with no way to prevent it. We're almost kind of approaching the point where the summoner class kind of starts to hit its stride. We've got our rich and our wolf leveled way the hell up. They can take care of pretty much anything. And we've got enough summons to sort of rotate during the downtime when they're on cooldown. Once we get our third summon capacity up there, we'll be in good shape. Then I'll come across that digestive sack and open it and it'll murder me. And it'll be pretty much the same as every other run we've done since the latest DLC. Let's take a infusion for the specific purpose of, uh, yeah, dispelling poisons and then just eat all of the poison damage without triggering it. Oh, hey, it's one of these guys. Uh, so that's not great. Oh, wow. And that is the power of doggos. Oh, shit. Friendly fire. I did not realize that was gonna, uh, yeah, happen to me. Maybe trees were a bad idea. Trees might have been a mistake. No, that's, it, it's fine. We just have to make sure not to summon him right in our face next time. Oh, hey, now we got this thing. Oh, that's good. We'll take that. Ooh. Yes. We'll start maxing willpower again after that. This dragon sounds like fun, too. Um, I think just the final floor, maybe? Yeah, I'm pretty sure the final floor is usually like that. And then the other ones of, like, little hallways that lead into big open rooms. You know what? Uh, we, I want more than one heavy hitter, so we'll go with the Minotaur. Tree is good for our main AoE guy, for now. Oh, maybe that just happens randomly then. I know that actually some dungeons have like an alternate configuration where the floors will uh, sort of, yeah, be structured a bit differently than normal. Like for example, I know that the maze has two versions that are like radically different in the way that they'll generate the floors for you. What kind of shoes we got right now? 
Eh, not bad shoes. Ooh, I like that movement speed, though. Armor versus movement speed. Ooh, infravision's pretty good, though. I think we keep our current boots. Halfling foot isn't amazing. We can probably ditch that. But neither of these is great, so forget it. Actually, speaking of the maze, um, I think that might be our next destination. Actually, no. Uh, we want to go. We want to go finish the bandit hideout before anything else. You've got a limited window of opportunity to hit that. I think if you get above level 15, you can't trigger this anymore. That's a lot of minotaurs. There should be like an achievement for that. Yeah, we'll open the chest. Yeah, I don't know how many enemies at this stage in the in the game can withstand both a minute. I need I need some way to escape from situations like this. <laughs> uh, we're in a lot of trouble all of a sudden. Oh, that would be the thing where you can yeah switch place with your summons. Although I, I would be many, it would be many levels till we have uh, till we're able to get that one anyways. Of course, the nastiest one is up against the wall where we can't get him. Let's just do it this way. Like, that wasn't too bad. We survived that, but only because the enemies are still weak at this point in the game. If we get to a point later on where we get surrounded like that, I really, really need some means of not getting surrounded. write this shit again. Oh no, this is it. This is the end of the run. Man, it was like right before we were about to hit our stride too. And it's not like we can like go out level up and come back here. This hideout disappears forever once we uh, clear these guys out, so this is our last chance at that, at that digestive sack. The fuck are you guys doing here? Okay, so it's a good thing we are getting them taken care of. Um, I don't actually know. Like, there's a lot of enemy attacks that will deactivate your sustains, but I don't know that hitting zero mana will do it. I could be wrong about that, but uh, I don't think it does. I mean, unless it, there are sustains that drain mana, obviously any mana draining sustain will uh, deactivate once you don't have the mana to sustain it. I guess we just sit here until uh, those guys are done. Oh yeah, that's right, we got this thing. 
That's what we should prioritize is uh, equipment with like uh, abilities that let you nuke things. Okay, that was actually pretty easy. That was a relatively smooth bandit hideout. Until now. Okay, I'm just gonna pre-summon all these fuckers. Oh, what are you? Is this a fucking entropy mage? Or an entropy cultist? Oh, and he's he's got an he's got uh the fucking steampunk implants, of course he does. Okay. Uh this is bad, but I know we know what we are getting ourselves into. Holy fuck. Oh, that's my dog back there, too. Well, I mean, I guess I'm fine being back here and all. Oh, and he's got guns. <laughs> he's like a, yeah, a brawler entropy cultist with guns. being dotted to death. Well, I hope my wolf is doing all right, but it looks like he isn't. Okay, so much for that. Right, I should not have stuck the fire bug right next to the ice tree. With the frickin' AoE bullshit. I can't really safely stick anything up there anymore until this tree goes away. I'll put a turtle. Fuck. Oh no, I aggroed the merchant! <laughs> oh well, too bad. Sucks to be him. Oops. What the fuck is going on? Oh, my equilibrium is fucked. Eight percent failure chance? I think we just try that again. There we go. Fuckers. Oh no. <laughs> um, we're still atrophying though. Uh Okay, we're fine. Everything's fine. Did I, I didn't even get a level up off of that, did I? Okay, cool. We got steampunk guns and an axe. Worth it. Oh, and we lost the merchant, too. Maybe it wasn't worth it. Who, who the fuck do you think you are? You think you're gonna take me down after we just defeated that abomination? Oh, we actually got tier 2 armor. Oh yeah, we need to start pumping strength, actually. Ooh, breathe in water. That's like an auto-grab. Eh, 
And it's, uh, the other one's technically better. It's got more resistances. But it's not that much better. I think I'm just gonna keep the water breathing one. What stats do we get off this? Cunning will. Yeah, I think I like all of that. Oh, what do you know? What the hell is this? I haven't seen one of these before. And of course it's green, the bare minimum acceptable level. And I was complaining before and I said I'd be happy even with the green one. Now I'm complaining that the green one is just a green one and not blue or orange. Yeah, we can ditch the rest of that. I guess I'll just keep exploring up here anyways, just so we know what's up here. Oh, is this our... Uh... Okay, that's our strange portal. Yeah, I've decided... Uh, I've decided to leave the strange portal till later in my uh, usual route. A few times I tried doing it... Uh right after the bandit hideout, but that hidden cave can be tough sometimes. It's extremely random what type of dungeon it generates for you. Oh, I should have been summoning slimes if we're having equilibrium problems. I gotta keep that in mind. Oh, uh, you're not my dog. The fuck are you? Okay, so he's like a rogue or something. Which is what's causing him to... I think we're just missing all of our attacks is the problem. Fuck! Oh, no. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Man, he's still got all of his fucking health left. Okay. I think we might die here. Okay, does this take a turn? Should have done that earlier. I think I'm just gonna let the thief there get up in front of me. Goodbye. Wow, and that's all my summons gone. This shit is fucked. Christ! Did he not kill my... Escort there? What happened to the escort? Okay, there he goes. There he went. It was just a thief. I don't think thieves have anything good. It was mainly just really incredibly inconvenient positioning there. Like, the enemy itself wasn't exactly the worst, but the fact that he came right around the corner was just awful. Man, what is it with all these bastards one-shotting my dudes? And also not dying in two hits like everything used to all the time. <sighs> oh, hey. Got something good for it, though. That's a tier two.
Okay, cool. It's slightly, very, very slightly less worthless for us to smack things in melee now. Oh, the exit was right there, too. I say right there, but we would have had to fight through another freaking rare monster to get there. Or, you know what? Spider is useless. Uh, we're going to put him in the higher slot and get the Minotaur in for more convenient summoning. Ooh, I think I want this. Yeah, that can replace uh, regeneration. Scales with con isn't great. But yeah, regeneration is just doing nothing for us. Lose physical resist? Yeah, I don't think so. Another fucking escort. Ooh, Anorithals. No, it's Sun Paladins that are the good ones. Fantasia? Yes, I played Fantasia back in the day. I played it, like, way back when the fan translation was first released, in fact. Also, hey there, Saturn Meteor. <laughs> yeah, I remember that was a big deal. That was, like, one of the earliest... Uh, like, fan-translated ROMs that I was ever made aware of. It was like, yeah, back when I had never even heard of, like, the fact that, you know, there were games that were only being released in Japan and that uh, we couldn't play them. Like, Tales of Fantasia was my first introduction into that whole world. Saw screenshots for this game called Tales of Fantasia, and it's like, hey, that sounds amazing. How have I never seen that in the rental shops before and it's like oh it was only in japan oh that fucking sucks no it's fine they got this rom hack for it and then yeah away i went <laughs> uh no it never i don't believe i could be wrong about this but i don't think that tales of fantasia was released in uh was released in north america back in the day in fact i'm almost positive that it wasn't yeah tales of fantasia was uh japan only Back in the back in the old days on the SNES. Um, is that true? I know they. I know they're very. Uh, yeah, aggressive when it comes to uh, like fan games. Like original games, but the uh, the translations of their otherwise untranslated games, I've never heard of them going after anything like that. Like uh, for the frog, the bell tolls. For the frog, the bell tolls. Yeah, uh, that I played here on stream a while back. Uh, that's another game that uh, yeah never got an official translation. Uh, and then it was, yeah, got a fan translation some years back. As far as I know, Nintendo never went after them. Both of these are garbage, to be honest. I'm taking the cunning. Or, you know what we want is we want some, uh... Or actually, yeah, we, 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 let's just plant a tree. Plant a tree, and then he'll uh, take care of all of them. It's really tough to tell where the AoE starts on that. I guess we can just read the skill. I think it's three spaces. Yeah, radius of three. One, two, three. Oh, and actually, yeah, then we can put this guy here. Blink away at them when they're frozen. And then just keep doing it. Because, yeah, the duration of uh, the summons is actually longer than the cooldown now. That's awesome. Oh, 
Oh, I got excited. I thought that was a mind star for a second. So now we got generic points to spare. Do we want this? I think I do. Yeah, that's really good. Now, do we go more summons or do we improve our existing ones? Equilibrium is kind of becoming a problem. Okay, oh, this right here is actually maybe worth it. So this takes us down from fast summoning from 65% of a turn to 42%, which means two summons that breaks the 50% threshold. So we get two summons per turn and we get an extra turn. So that's like an extra three summons. This is actually a pretty good panic button for us. Do we have enough summons to make it worthwhile? I think we do. I'm gonna put one more point in this and then yeah, beyond that, it's kind of diminishing returns. At some point, we've got to start pumping strength. Maybe I should just keep an eye out for uh, equipment that gives you strength. Also, yeah, I should be using that guy a little bit more often. Um, did the did the designer of Fantasia make the? Um, Megami Sama series? I don't think so. Maybe the character designer or something, but I don't think so. I, I, I can certainly see the similarities, though, with, like, the design of, like, some of the winged angel characters in the game. Oh, you're right, okay. Yeah, like I said, I w it wouldn't have surprised me. Yeah, the character is designer, most likely. Oh shit, that didn't do it. Uh, so that looks unpleasant. Oh no. some of my equilibrium back, I guess. How come my pet slime doesn't divide? That's lame. Oh, maybe I should have... In an area like this, maybe I should have gone for the, uh... for the wyvern, or whatever it was. The red dragon? Fire drake, that was it. Slightly better. Oh, you know what I was gonna do, and then I got distracted by that crazy fight with the uh, enemy rogue or whatever. I forgot to put up that uh, teleportation rune. Uh, yeah, we'll ditch regeneration. You know, I'm, I'm familiar with the title, You're Under Arrest, but I don't think I've ever seen anything about it. Like, I don't know what it looks like. Or, okay, I guess I have a vague idea of what it probably looks like based on having the same uh, character designer. But, uh, yeah, I don't actually know anything about that one. Oh, boy. What are you doing, Flame Spitter? You fucking moron!
Hmm, thunderstorm, huh? Oh wait, if there's a bee swarm, then why don't you kill it? There you go. Whoa. Oh, he's not doing stuff because, uh, yeah, they're fire immune. I was wondering where my dog went. Oh, I got poisoned and forgot to clear it again. Why did it let me rest if I was poisoned? That was weird. Is this better than the one we've got? Oh yeah, that's right. We don't got one anymore because we replaced it with a teleport. Good grief. Apparently this is the forest where thieves come to die. Oh, this is the same... <laughs> got a weird feel feeling of deja vu right here. This is... So far, this is literally the exact same map layout as where the... The rogue ambushed us around the corner. You know what? I'm just... Yeah. Not falling for the same trick twice. Turtle, go. Oh, what do you know? Something's smacking him about. Who could have seen that coming? Yeah, only the kind of genius who could predict the plot twist at the end of a Disgaea game could have seen that one coming. Okay, apparently it was just some ants. What does this guy even give you? Mm. Both of these are rather good. I'm tempted to just, just take the cunning. We'll do this though. 15 up to 23 is really good. Yeah, look at that. Smoke them out, Rich. Oh shit, what's going on? Oh, they're they're surrounding me. They're be oh shit, they're becoming intelligent. Oh, and they've got a, they've got their boss with them. Um, okay. Seriously? I was more than three spaces away from that shit. Okay, tree man versus tree man. Go at it. Okay. Should have expected that. Okay, equilibrium, equilibrium is going to become a problem right away, so we'll drop one of those. Seriously? that Yeah, that is way more than radius 3. Hmm, how do we do this? 
Okay, I'm gonna save Frantic Summoning. That didn't work. Okay, retreat! Yeah, we just play we just play flame spitter keep away. There, easy. Yeah, a lot of the people in the kind of Japanese games and anime industries kind of get around to a bunch of different companies. Like a lot of the most popular illustrators and composers are like freelance contractors and such. So you'll see them, yeah, do a lot of work for a lot of different companies, often before finding like their one big one who eventually hires them permanently. Like if you go back to the SNES era, uh, some big name composers like uh, Hitoshi Sakamoto, for example, you'll see him doing like a music for a bunch of different games and a bunch of different companies before he eventually uh, settled in at Squaresoft. Actually, uh, speaking of the Tales series, uh, yeah, Mo what fuck it is uh, Motoi Sakuraba is another one who kind of followed that same career path where he started doing music for a bunch of different companies, then he fell in with the guys at, I guess, Enix uh, doing the Tales series and a bunch of Tri-Ace games. And now, actually, I think both uh, him and uh, Sakamoto are both doing freelance work now. Um, that seems like a lot. It seems like you lucked out there. Ooh, speaking of lucked out, uh, yeah, we'll take that. Yeah, I feel like I don't get, I don't start seeing like gold in the thousands till usually till after I've hit the maze at least, sometimes even longer. Although perhaps you did the maze first. I used to do the maze first. Now I do the forest first. Yeah, I don't think I want of the Zealot. Yeah, I've kind of changed my typical route a bit. I used to go the lazy route where I'd do the maze first so that I'd have enough levels to go straight through the lake immediately after clearing the woods. But uh, that's kind of failed for me enough times that, uh, yeah, from now on, for my last couple round runs at least, I, d I do the woods, then I do the maze, then I go back to the lake. Um, we got nothing better to spend our shit on, so... Actually, you know what? I could... Oh, man. You know, I don't even think I want to challenge the tornadoes just yet. Uh, what I might want to do, though, is see if I can find some equipment that just gives you a little bit of plus strength. Just, like, a little bit of plus strength armor on the cheap. If I can get, like, a something or other of strength, that'll be great. Dex Kun Lock. Kun Will, Kun Will. Well, that's no good. No, this is all heavy armor. We can't even use this stuff. Oh, there's the money. Okay, cool. Uh, so what this does is we can just put on this leather hat. With, a, with, with its plus 6 strength, we go from 10 to 16 strength. That gets us enough to learn heavy armor training. There, we've learned heavy armor training. 
Now we take the hat off. We go back down to 10 strength, but we still get to keep uh, the point we put into heavy armor training. Saved ourselves uh, two levels worth of stat points. Genius. I mean, do I, not, do I put another point in here? I guess I do. Is there anything else I want here? Yeah, I guess we'll just save our generics. Yeah, I think, we're, I, I think I want that Drake. Or what's the Golem do? He can become unstoppable. That's less detail than I would like. I'm going with the Dragon. Oh yeah, and I guess we can sell that uh, hat that we don't need anymore. Ooh, although... Right, I do want the 14 strength to uh, be able to equip this armor, though. Can I take my stat points back? Dang. Our next two levels are going to have to go towards strength, so I can start equipping uh, medium heavy... or uh, the medium leather armor. Oh man, VHS tapes. Yeah, I haven't owned a, v owned a VHS player in years. All digital for me. I am... I'm, I'm not a like a physical copy kind of guy. I've digitized almost all of my game and uh, anime collection these days. I, I, In fact, I own almost no physical media anymore. And I say good riddance to it. I do not miss that stuff in the slightest. Oops. What the fuck? We got the, a Molotar. Is that new? Can't remember the last time a Minotaur sp spit flames at me. Okay, this is annoying. Okay, okay, let's, let's try this guy out. Oh, that's another one of those that's gonna totally fuck me over if I uh, get too close to him when he's doing his thing. Oh, the two of them together. Yeah, we got our two fire guys teaming up. Although, mm, that doesn't last as long as I'd like. Five turns, I guess that's alright. I guess we don't need... I guess it doesn't matter, we know they're there. We can get the summons to take care of them. Fuck, did he get frozen? I must have some kind of frost thorns or something. Oh, yeah, ice damage when hit.
Although, actually, I can say this as well about the whole the digital age and my denigration of physical media. It has caused me to perhaps undervalue uh, some items in my collection. I don't know if I told this story before. I sold it so a while back. Like I, I haven't played like a physical game on a disc in ages. That stuff's just been like sitting on my shelves forever. So finally I took the plunge and I just sold it all off on Kijiji. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. And you know, I figured, oh this stuff is worthless, it's just a bunch of old games. Who's gonna give a shit? So I, I priced it pretty competitively, or uh, pretty, I, you know, priced to sell. Like, I didn't want that stuff sitting around anymore. I figured just, you know, get the fuck rid of it. Got a lot of bids on that stuff. My whole lot of video games. It's like a lot of people going back and forth. It was like two days of bidding before someone came in and was like, Hey, I'll give you this much for the whole lot. And I, I just said, yeah, sure. Just Let's just be done, done with it. Uh, one of the other bidders was really pissed off at me uh, for doing that. And they said, you know, you've got thousands of dollars worth of stuff here or tens of no i think i think it was something like something like four f no it was like five or six thousand dollars worth of stuff apparently which kind of blew my mind because that's like more than or more than what i would have paid for a lot of it in the first place <laughs> but yeah i looked it up online like the pricing markets and stuff and apparently i was in possession of some reasonably rare uh P ps1 games especially a lot of my ps1 collection was, uh, yeah, like some relatively high value, like, you know, hundred dollar, one to two hundred dollar disc type things. So I missed out on some money by uh, doing that, but I kept, to, I, I kept to the deal and uh, sold my stuff to the guy. I, I didn't make the same mistake with my anime collection, though. Uh, my uh, a Apparently the Evangelion Platinum co collection, which is sitting here on my shelf still, I was going to list it with the rest of my anime lot for like 30 bucks, but apparently the Evangelion Platinum collection is like several hundred dollars at this point. Because apparently, because uh, it was because the company, ADV, uh, went out of business, so nobody owns the rights to the original Evangelion in North America anymore. So you can't actually get uh, the, yeah, old ADV version. So it's, yeah, it's gone out of print. It might never come back in print, so it's super high value right now. So then I decided, okay, I guess I'll sell it. Uh, but maybe I'll watch it one more time uh, before I uh, before I sell it off. And because I don't tend to binge anime the way I do a lot of other stuff, it's kind of taken me a long time to watch through it again. I think I'm like 20 episodes in and started watching it about two months ago. So I'm just about done. Man, Evangelion though, that's one... It's one of those series that I, I like it more and more every time I see it. Like, I was kind of lukewarm on the whole Evangelion thing when I was a kid. Then I watched it as, as an adult, and it's like, okay, I kind of see what the appeal was. It's not amazing, but I like it. Third time I watched it, it was like, oh, there's actually some serious stuff going on here. Like, some actual craftsmanship. It was really ahead of its time in a lot of ways. And now, this most recent viewing, I think it's actually just a fantastic series. Like, straight up. Nothing wrong with it. Although, again, we're coming into those last six episodes, so I doubt that opinion will hold up. But nevertheless, yeah, I liked it a lot more this time around than in uh, previous viewings. Oh, of course, the rare armor we get is the fucking heavy armor that we can't equip. Uh, oh wait, that's a tier one. We don't give a shit. Oh, is it the same in French? I'm the same way with a lot of English voices and a lot of, uh, yeah, North American anime. Can't stand most of the uh, English voices. 
Actually, in that regard, Evangelion was a bit worse than I remembered. I remembered it having pretty reasonably good uh, English voice acting, but yeah, watching it again these days, yeah, it's not as good as I remembered. 48 strength, that is never gonna happen. And we need to go to tier 3 heavy armor, so no. Just no. That's a lot of stats. I mean, that's way the fuck better than uh, Lucky Halfling Foot. Yes. Yeah, that's that's the one advantage to uh, yeah the dubbing over the subtitles is that yeah you don't have to pay attention as much. You can multitask, do like anime on one monitor and some other damn thing on another. Yep, that's certainly an advantage of uh, the dubs. worth keeping. Thing is, do I want to, yeah, do I want the nine encumbrance that comes with it? Is there anything we can clear out here? Okay, that helps us a little bit. I'll keep it for now, but I'll ditch it the instant we need more, uh, more, need to drop some weight. Oh my. Seriously? Oh wow, he didn't last long. Er, uh, you know what? Let's, let's frantically summon, get some bodies up in here. Oh, never mind, we're maxed out on bodies, actually. Oof. This fucking guy. That's not where I wanted you to go. This fucking guy. Oh, they got him. Thank Christ. Okay, I was like, did he just breathe fire on me? But no, that went the other direction. Flame on, motherfucker! Uh, that dragon's pretty awesome for uh, clearing out corridors, it turns out. Also, apparently he has slime. Oh no, that's from the worm. Like the other worm, the worm with an O. Oh hey, yeah, we can now that we got two tier two mind stars, we can actually hit stuff, kind of. Oh yeah, we still got a shitty tier 1 cloak. Oh, a really shitty tier 1 cloak. Oh, it gives us equilibrium too. Oh, this is like a summoner's cloak. Heals friendly targets nearby when you use a nature summon. Cunning, will, hell yes. And now we're over encumbered again. Or close to it. All oh, right, and this is the regular maze, so this is a boss floor. Uh, let's scope it out. Oh my. Okay, this is going all right so far. Uh, 
Uh, this is suddenly not going great. I guess we just sit here? Actually, no, we know it's safe to kind of go down in this direction. Oh, there's a wall down there. Right. Because that spell shows us enemies, but it doesn't show us walls. So I basically put that rich there for nothing. Oops. Uh, yeah, that confuse. That confuse is bad news. Okay, I think we actually want to pin this bastard. Now I'm pinned. Uh, okay, the insidious poison. Forget about it. We might just want to teleport here. This guy could one-shot us. Also, equil Equilibrium's getting up there. Okay, uh, nurse to that. Oh, we're still stunned. And pinned. Oh boy. Okay, we're no longer pinned. Okay, thank Christ. Oh, that was a bit dicey. Yeah, our summons are good boys. Uh, what you doing there, Rich? Oh, there's a legendary dude over there. I know what to do with legendary dudes. Or rare dudes or whatever. Man, there's still a lot of guys down here. Oh no, this is exactly how my last run ended. Digestive sack at the bottom of the maze. Um, I mean, I guess this is better than nothing. Probably just keep it at the one point. Okay, the question is, which of these guys do I want to keep out for more turns? Like, Hydra and Fire Drake are kind of cooldown based. Like, they stay out for four turns, they use up all their cooldowns, and then they're done. I don't think we gain much from keeping them out for any longer than that. Tree Man, on the other hand. Minotaur is pretty good, too. Man, these guys gain crazy stats. Like, I feel like, like I want to just put points into all of them. Yeah, I think we'll put them both into Tree Man. And we'll put two in, we'll bite the bullet and put two into strength. Now that we got that light armor training. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say no to that. Okay, so we, we now have the option for, uh, yeah, for heavy helmets and gloves and boots and all that. Or I guess really just those three things. Chests I think I can deal with. I think we're fine opening the gold chests for now. Uh, so that wasn't great. 
Have another? I like how this this red dragon has basically become my canary. Like, you know, the proverbial canary in a coal mine. Like, we just send him out in front and see what happens to him. And that's the way that we know whether it's dangerous. Oh shit, yeah. I knew he was there. So this this is an ooze ooze man, sir. Who could have imagined such a such a thing? I think we just want to kill it as fast as we can. Okay, ooze on ooze, come on. We are going to die. I am going to open this digestive sack and it's gonna kill me. And there's absolutely nothing I can do about it. Oh, whoops. Uh, yeah, we use uh, shield runes, don't we? Yeah, we don't want that. Ooh. Okay, yeah, mine stars with an active. I think are ideal here. I didn't even read all of what this actually does. Burrow into earthen walls, probably digging. Oh, so I just get to go through walls. Uh, lose armor. And basically just swap out cold for acid. Not worth it. Okay, what about this one? Is this better than the other one? Ooh. Global speed slow. I lose the armor. Lose a bit of damage, but gain a bit of net resistance. I think this is actually better than that uh, one I've got in the offhand. Uh, this is probably better than our current boots. Ooh, blink to a random location. I like the sound of that. Weirdly enough, we actually lose armor for equipping these. <laughs> but we gain... Will, magic... Actually, we gain basically nothing but this blink ability. This is actually pretty much just a whole lot of nothing on here. But that blink is actually really helpful, because I was saying earlier, uh, we're kind of fucked if we get surrounded. So they, these are, yeah, our boots of unfuckery. 
If we're going to get fucked by getting surrounded, we can unfuck ourselves by popping the boots. These ones we don't need. For a second I misread this robe here. I thought it said biatch, which was kind of funny. Anyways, uh, we're just delaying the inevitable. What are you? Can't even tell what this is. Oh, another chaos guy. Can't actually tell what this is. Or is this a corruptor? Oh no, this is a... This is a demented. But he's dual wielding, so he doesn't get tentacle abilities. That is weird. Oh, also I should... Uh, stick these over here. Start with this. That's not great. Okay, this is going pretty good for us so far. Oh, he does get he does get tentacles. How does that happen? Fucker. That was not a great place for a slime there. Wow, he fucked off in a hurry there. Oh, uh, shit. Equal we're running up equilibrium here. Uh Oh, never mind. Doesn't even matter. He's dead. We actually got pretty lucky there. That was uh one of the easier digestive sack monsters I've ever seen. I think I'm going to celebrate that by preparing some tea. Okay, what goodies do we have now? I don't think I saw anything good throughout all of that. Staff, 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 axe, 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 robe, 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 and some shitty leather armor. Blech. But, uh, with our water breathing armor, I think we're more than set up to uh, do the lake now. Also on our next... Oh wow, we got five levels to go for 20. Once we get there though... Uh, mm. I don't know, do we do Mind Star Mastery or do we do Summoning? Advanced. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, if this gave us more defensive abilities and or ranged abilities, I'd do it. But I don't think it's worth it. So yeah, we're going to go with advanced summoning once we hit uh, level 20. Oh, right, uh, yeah, we haven't equipped the thing yet. Uh, it's gonna lose us a bit of stuff, but we can just swap it back out later. Man, all this water is, uh, it's giving me the runs, so I'm gonna head to the bathroom real quick, and I'll be back in a minute. You know what, I want snacks too. Proof armor seems to be working. We are not drowning. So that's one less thing we have to worry about. What about our pets? Or I guess they don't last enough turns to really worry about drowning or anything.
Oh, hello. Nereminor the Dragon Turtle. Oh, he's a gunner turtle. Oh man, two of these guys. Uh, that's bad luck. What the fuck happened? Oh, uh, he got buzzed, that's what happened. Mmm, that freaking noise. Yeah, that buzzsaw sound effect is like the most horrifying noise in all of Tome. Oh, that was just a trap. Okay. Now we get to see how awful the next floor is going to be... Mm, that active is really good for us. Again, one more way to get unsurrounded. But the stats are garbage. Uh, and then, yeah, resists. Actually, this one's not great. Accuracy, dex, lightning pen. Oh yeah, this is... This is equally garbage, whereas this one has a good active, so we'll swap that. Oh, you know what? Now we have something to spend our generics on. Okay, good, we got the normal version. Um, wow, I've got a lot of actives on my items. I guess we'll put this with uh, kind of the other visibility type things. Actually, we'll put this, put this with the nukes, and what was this again? Burrow. That's actually potentially really abusable. Okay, I am a lot less safe than I thought I was. I thought it looked like a quiet, you know, peaceful little room. Not so much for that. I did max out my flame spitter, right? Hmm, he's falling behind already. I think we might want to max out the dragon next for uh, just more ranged and AoE damage. Whoops, uh, yeah, let's get something out here to help with this. Man, the, that, that guy's doing hardly any damage to me. How is he taking out my summons?
Eh, those guys always travel in groups. Oh, shit. Will this work? Oh, hey, it actually does. Sweet. Maybe he killed him. Seriously? Man, I feel like three summons just aren't cutting it anymore. I want to get my fourth already. Uh, was that the the boss at the bottom of the Lake of Nur? Because, uh, yeah. <laughs> the guy I'm about to fight at, uh, once I get to the bottom of this floor. Yeah, you kind of need a... You kind of need to read all of that guy's abilities and then come up with a strategy for how to deal with them. Some classes that are really dependent on sustains uh, just can't do it early on, and they've got to come back and do it later. I think our summoner here is actually going to have a really easy time of it, uh, because he's got zero sustains. So yeah, I think we're actually in for a really easy uh, sure tool fight here. You know, assuming we uh, survive that long and everything. But yeah, uh, it's not super uncommon to uh, take a death in the, uh, what, what are the Z called? The Sure Tool Guardian or something like that? Whatever. The guy at the bottom of the lake is, yeah, a pretty common stopping point for new players. Whoa! Assuming we can make it that far. Weirdling beast, that's it. Okay, I think this is him right away. There's our guy. 
Yeah, weirdling beast. Uh, this is the one right here. Taint Devourer. Activate the taint on a foe, removing up to four magical or physical effects or sustains from it, and healing you for 75 for each effect. And that's the key. Because, yeah, some classes... I remember, yeah, again, the Arcane Blade was the big one, where they've got, like, six sustains. So, yeah, he just, like, takes all of those away from you and puts them on cooldown and uh, heals, basically, all of his health. And then the awesome thing about that with the Arcane Blade is all your sustains go on cooldown, you get them back eventually, then they're off cooldown, you get your sustains back, and then he just sucks them up again and heals again. Uh, the, on the other hand, right now, I think we're actually in super good shape against this guy. Because I don't think he's going to be able to do jack shit to us. Okay, we'll kick it off with... Ooh. Okay, that's a little bit of a twist to kick things off. Okay, I think we actually want the spider here to try to put the... Uh... Ooh, uh, you know what? I'm going to purge that. I don't think he can do anything worse than freeze. Uh, this is not going great so far, actually. I forgot that he had this many long-range abilities. Thought we'd keep him kind of locked up there. Oh, he can stun you. Okay, it looks like he can do things worse than freezing, then. Nope, there's my T. So if all else goes wrong, at least we got something going for us. Okay. Okay. We need to be ready to prop. So I need to keep an eye on my equilibrium, because if it uh, goes wrong, we might need to pop frantic summoning. Uh, so that's bad timing on this uh, freezing here. Oh boy. Uh oh. Okay, I hope I don't get hit by this. If that tree man is too close to me, I think we just lose right here. We'll do this now. Okay, that's going good. Okay, is he like draining sustains from my summons or something? Like, I have zero sustains here. But he's still healing somehow. Okay, so we save... The infusion for when he does that. What are you doing, Rich? Yeah, this guy's healing somehow, but I don't know how. I don't have any sustains for him to be draining. This makes no sense. Oh, I think we're dead. We fucked it up. Oh, no, we're still alive.
to this. Let's get the spider. Hmm. I want to make a break for it. Okay, I have no idea why he died all of a sudden there, <laughs> but okay. <laughs> oh, apparently it takes away the stairs once you beat him. Also, he leaves this weird particle effect sometimes that's really difficult to see. Although apparently... Like, it's a darkness effect that damages you when you stay in it. This one appears to be bugged, and it's not gonna go away now that he's dead, even though, even though the damaging field has gone away. So I guess I can just sit here in this cloud of flies, or whatever, while I go grab my tea. level up off of that. Oh, I did too. Beautiful. Oh, hey, we got a new, uh, a new generic to pick from too. Uh, yeah, that's not great, but we'll take it anyways. Oh, also, this is going to be good now too. We got so many charms. I think I just want to max this actually. Also, what's this? Detect traps, reduce critical hits. Save minus 18 to resist status effects, huh? Uh, how does that scale? It doesn't really. I don't think we even bother with that. Uh, I just want to, yeah, buff up my charms. Oh, that's the good stuff. Okay, we can get four pets out at a, at a time. Uh, hmm. Who do we want? I think Tree Man's fine for now. Because, yeah, he doesn't actually gain any constitution when you uh, put points in him. So he's actually dying before he lasts his full nine turns. Minotaur could use some help. Yeah, Warhound is going down super fast now. Or maybe we want to do Golem. Yeah, we'll just have an extra dude to go through. We can have four dudes on the map now. Yeah, let's get an extra summon. We'll actually put him on the Spider's 8. Oh, whoops, did I... Oh, Golem's on cooldown because we just learned it. Oh, also, yeah, we sustained this. There, we got our first sustain. Yeah, there's not really anything you can do here until you uh, transmogrify some stuff, which I guess we're going to do right now. Uh, we got nothing. Oh, uh, yeah, I should swap my armor before I forget.
Oh, right, yeah, we didn't want that because it's uh, arcane disrupting. Um, lately, I haven't had many characters uh, survive past the sure tool fortress. I kind of forget what we usually do next at this point. Like, the next natural thing is to, uh, yeah, go to the Sandworm Lair and complete your story quest. Sandworm Lair is a bit tough, though, so I like to do other things uh, before going in there. But I forget what other things we can even do. Okay, and we'll send out our canary. He's doing stuff, so they're coming from that away. All clear? Actually, I, I can see for myself it's, if it's all clear. Oh, this is great. Does this just not work anymore? Yeah, whatever. I can send out four dudes. Bring it on! Oh wow, four dudes are apparently not cutting it. Oh god. Apparently they are more than our four dudes. Okay, there we go. Apparently they were, they were all just hanging out there. Actually, this reduces the damage of my summons too, doesn't it? Yeah, you it reduces the damage of you and your summons. And yeah, for that reason, yeah, the meditation, you almost never want to use it in combat. But it can be good uh, between battles to get your resources replenished a bit faster. Actually, I think it might be... I think it might auto-meditate for you outside of combat. I'll, re I'll have to read this. Okay, so if you... Any, so it just increases your rate of equilibrium gain while resting. Uh, so what can we do now? Halfling complex is an option, although subject Z might be kind of tough. Like, yeah, they won't let me in here, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, I can check the alchemists now, too, see if we got any potions done. Looks like no. Frankly, I don't even think we turn in any alchemist potions unless it's the, uh... The Hermit with his two talent points. All of the other potions are just so bad, or so much worse for this class, that, uh... Oh yeah, Hidden Compound is good at this stage in the game. Uh... Oh yeah, our summons aren't really gonna be able to discriminate between, uh... Slaves and Masters here. So we're probably just gonna kill them all.
The mental hold is gone. Blech. I can't even see what the fuck's going on. Holy shit. It's massacred my boys. Actually, let's try this golem. That's a weird looking golem. I've never seen an enemy, an enemy that looks like this before. All of the other summons look like, uh, like have a have an appearance that resembles some type of basic enemy. That golem is unique, however. Man, every time one of them goes down, they let a lightning bolt through. Screw this guy. There we go. Man, maybe it was too early to come here. Just thoughtlessly send them all forward. I should, yeah, I should actually pop that from time to time just to see if they're... Uh, Gonna start flanking me or something. Sometimes my pets don't get along. I was not expecting him to flame breath in that direction. Come on, guys. Don't come back to me when there's still enemies out there. Jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is just me invisible because my thing popped. This trips me up every time I play Shalor. I think, oh god, I'm frozen! But no, it just procced this uh, invisibility thing. Oh, holy shit, we saved one. He didn't get eaten alive by bugs and wolves and... Dragons. Now he's in my way. Well, okay, you can go in first. No, go ahead, buddy, don't be shy. Maybe I should be a little bit smarter about uh, what order I put out my summons. Yeah, I think it's time to level up Dragon Man. He's going down pretty quickly. Frankly, all of these summons have so much potential, I just want to level them all up. That's cool. You have a good night, Telerath. I'm going to try to get to bed at a reasonable time myself tonight. 
I've been kind of still... I bring it up every stream and I've still been kind of failing miserably at it. But yeah, we'll probably go for another hour or so. And uh, yeah, that's the plan at least. Okay, Tree Man's doing some good work now that we've leveled him up. Maybe I should put him out instead of the dragon for now. That's an anorithal, isn't it? Uh, goodbye. I will come back when I am more prepared for that. I, I don't want to go out. Yeah, I, I didn't want to go in on him with my shield down. Although his lasers will uh, go through any summons that I put out. Shields holding. Cool. Maybe it was a mistake to put uh, five points in dogs. He's already kind of becoming obsolete, and in the long run, it might have been better to save those points for Minotaurs. I don't know, maybe there's some other skill in the advanced summoning tree that'll uh, make it worthwhile again. Basic, like three punch combo here. Dragon to light him up and draw him out. Tree man to hold him in place once they charge. Oh! And then, uh, yeah, flame spitter to uh, hit him while he holds him. Yeah, this keeps happening to me. I should really just have it to automatically use the shield whenever enemies come in sight, but then sometimes it ends up on cooldown when you uh, don't want it on cooldown. Maybe I would like some global speed someday. Maybe that's something I might want to prioritize. Right, I should have expected these guys here. Oh yeah, let's try the golem. We haven't tried the golem yet.
Excuse you? How rude. After I went through all the trouble of rescuing him and everything. Oh, I see some shit over there. Oh no, this is some shit right here. This is just like what happened with the digestive sacks. I've got to put the things on the pedestals, and then it's gonna summon a demon, and he's gonna kill me, and there's nothing I can do about it. Ah. You know, I kind of know what you're talking about, Saturn Meteor. That's a very common type of thing that you see in anime. Particularly, like... Uh, the harem style shows with uh, like supernatural elements. Like I don't know, I know Deers had a similar type of dynamic going on with the weird like immigrationy type stuff and classes stuff. Uh, uh, Mo Monster Musume is another one that does basically has basically the same kind of theme running through it. Yeah, it's actually a really common uh, thing in a bunch of anime. I, su I suppose, in a sense, it's kind of just endemic to the genre. When you're gonna have, like, you know... Whoa! <laughs> when you're gonna have, like, waifus invading from outer space or something. Uh, yeah, they're... Oh, you know what? Uh, let's... Oh, that doesn't take a turn. Okay. Okay, cool. I was counting on those guys to do it for me. Excuse you. Oh, that's specifically to prevent me from... Uh... I mean, that was, yeah, Wife Who's From Outer Space. That was literally the plot of Deers. Uh, okay. Ooh, I think I might actually be doomed. Okay, we got three heavy hitters to... Oh, he's a summoner, too. Okay, mine are better. Oh, that means he drops a Mind Star. Beautiful. I think that's a tier three. Nice. Um, one of these had an active that we like. Yeah, so I'll put it in the offhand. This is not actually necessarily better. But I guess it's better enough, so we'll take it. Ooh, armor versus 1% resist. I don't think it even matters. I mean, I suppose it depends on your pantheon. Like, I'll be, I, th I think the Norse gods in particular were all about the uh, meat-eating, I think. Because, you know, they like to go hunting and stuff. Uh, this looks like bad times. Oh, he's a Spellblade. I should be using that a lot more often. That is a great spell for getting uh, into position in situations like this. I'm actually just going to leave it at those two for now. I want to hold back some summons for when the uh, when the demon arrives. Although I might not have a choice. Oh, there's the sound. There's the sound of my doom. Oh, 
We're actually, we've actually got a really good uh, tactical position here. Unfortunately, he's doing crazy amounts of damage because buzz saws. Okay, let's start backing up. You know what? Minotaurs don't last long anyways. I don't give a shit about it. Some friendly fire. We got a buzz saw that I think we can't, we literally can't even use. Yeah, I took some French in high school. I feel like I should. I should be able to understand what that means. Like, rose is just rose in English. O is water, isn't it? Of the water of the rose? No. I, I, yeah, sorry. I don't speak French. <laughs> Unless that's like some kind of weird turn of phrase that I don't uh, know the context for. Or no, at the water of the rose? I can't remember what Allah actually means. So yeah, we got basically nothing for that. Good, got an achievement, I guess. I think this is the boss down here. Uh, you know what? I don't even care to investigate all this shit. Okay. Okay, this one we can probably get some uh, summons queued up in advance. Actually, yeah, let's do it this way. Okay, that was a lot easier than, uh, yeah, some of the bad guys we saw on the way here. Oh yeah, I can do the- I, I keep forgetting about it because it's a new dungeon and all. But uh, we can do the mystery cave also. That'll probably put us ready to do the halfling complex. And then that'll get us ready to do uh, Sandworm Lair. Oh, right, uh, we got... Oh, no, we didn't get a level up. Ooh, also, how are we doing for potions? 
Oh, of course, the Hermit is the one that we're behind on. Uh, so, three, circle, circle, square. Hmm. I don't know if these tight corridors are good for summons or not. Man, if this if this track didn't take a turn to use, I would just uh, have it on auto use. Maybe I should. Auto use when no enemies are visible. I think that's actually a good plan. Although that might make it impossible to rest. I don't know. Maybe I came here a little bit later than I needed to. What level are these guys? No, they, they still out-level me. They're just... suck. Could be good. Ooh, tier two. Con. Oh, this is just for stealth guys. We're not a stealth guy. that was the wrong button. Ooh, maybe I should do something about that. <laughs> Having the, uh, yeah, my panic teleport a little bit too close to the heel. Uh, we'll put it on C6. Oops. Uh, okay, hope this works. Nope and nope. Okay, uh, you know what? Yeah, let's try this again. Oh no. Let's try this again. Okay. Yeah, this is useless. Uh, this is not helping us at all. Oh, we're dazed. This is bullshit. Let's do it again. Then again. Oh, wow, he's up here already. Did not take him long to chew through that uh, tree man. What the fuck? What is this guy? Is this a berserker? Okay, yes he is. Hence the, yeah, the confusion and the stunning and the one-shotting of stuff that's right around him.
feel like I'm gonna die, but I also feel like I'm gonna kill this guy. Okay, that worked. Man, I wish my summons couldn't friendly fire each other. Or that flame spitter could shoot through my uh, the other guys. Mm. Yeah, we'll put this guy on five now, actually. He's kind of one that we use pretty commonly. Oh, also he kind of sucks. I don't know, does that mean that we put points on him or that we don't? And the thing is, the smart the smart way to go about a tight, windy maze like this is to just track every few steps and then summon around corners. The problem is that takes forever, and I don't want to do it, and I would rather auto-explore, even if it means getting ambushed around corners all the time. So tree, tree mazes are the worst mazes because I find it really difficult to distinguish uh, like which trees you can go behind and which trees are blocking you off. It's like, this tree I can go behind. This tree is blocking me off. Oh well, levels us up just the same. Yeah, I think we keep doing charms. We got so many active abilities on our items. Huh. Golem, Minotaur. Dragon. I think we go Golem. I'd like a guy out who's really tanky.
Okay, there's something to look out for. Oh wait, yeah, Fire Drake is not going to do much here, is it? Poison, on the other hand. I don't even know how to get in there. Whatever. I don't... Okay. I don't think we really need to play cautiously unless we see anything dangerous. So let's see what's dangerous. Okay, that guy's dangerous. basically it. So, okay, we need to watch out for that down there. Which, okay, apparently I can't tell even what direction I'm going. There's gotta be a boss around here somewhere, too. Or unless there's another floor after this. What do you know?
No way, are they all dead? Nope. Yeah, we got his pouch and everything. Oh, okay. I couldn't see him because he was behind the fucking tree because this map is awful. Oh, he's still alive. Yeah, those guys are bad news. They're really tanky. saw a dude up there. Purpley dude. Maybe that's the way we should do it. As soon as we detect a purpley dude, we just go hunt him down. Problem is, is that the mazes are so ridiculous, I have no idea how to get over there. Yeah, we might even have to go like all the way back to the beginning and all the way around. In fact, that's literally what we're going to have to do. This might be the most annoying, mysterious cave dungeon I've ever seen. This maze goes on for fucking ever. Oh, there's the guy. There's the guy. Oh, well, he wasn't much of a guy. Was that the boss, or was there a... That shouldn't be it. Have, I don't think that should be the boss, because the bosses of these tend to be... kind of tough. And that was not very tough. Hmm... was a cursed he had the gloom aura stun though that is an exceptionally uncommon condition to uh get from a cursed the fuck happened a melee critical strike for 271 physical damage Okay, so we just got one-shotted. Out of nowhere, really? I really wish they would let me hide this and see the map. Okay, it happens, I guess. As usual, that kind of felt like a, yeah, super bullshit death. Stunned with fear. No, that didn't do anything. 
Because, yeah, stun doesn't prevent you from moving. Or unless I was stunned and I just didn't notice. Yeah, I have, I have no idea how that was... how that could happen. One forty nine per cent weapon damage. Only had a tier three weapon, so I guess that helped him a bit. Oh well, I guess the timing's fine since I was gonna quit within a few minutes anyways. Oh, that's one of those yeah, real feel bad deaths. I don't I don't think I did anything wrong there. It just spawned a bullshit monster. He got me with the stun aura, and then he one-shotted me. That's all there is to it. I should probably just not do this stupid maze cave as a summoner, just because the tight corridors are really... Like, your your summoner, your summons don't help you at all. You can, you can only do them one at a time, and the enemies will ambush you around corners constantly and put you in danger of getting one-shotted like this. So I don't think I would ever do this dungeon again as a uh, as a summoner. So I guess that's the one thing we learned. Oh well, that's the way the game goes sometimes. Now yeah, whatever. Mar Margarita was a trash character anyway, so I honestly can't even feel bad about her getting killed again. Brutally. So, uh, yeah. I guess that's the end of tonight's stream. Uh, glad to be just playing some Tales of Vajayal again. Man, we were just getting into our stride, too. That We were kind of... Like, yeah, we had our four summons at once. We had, like, a few good ones. I, feel, I think I might want to do a summoner again the next time we play this. Yeah, maybe I'll just alternate between uh, Tome and Disgaea 5 for the next little while. Like over, like for Christmas, that's what we're going to do. Uh, so yeah, I don't know exactly when that's going to be. I'm not going to stream tomorrow or Tuesday. So it's probably going to be either Wednesday or Thursday is going to be the next stream. Most likely some more uh, Disgaea 5 post-game. The VOD for today's stream will be up within the next two or three days. I know it says a day or two here. I've been meaning to update that because it's usually two or three days. I don't think anyone cares. In fact, I know for a fact that no one cares because I can see the analytics on the YouTube VODs. But I don't know. It bugs me that uh, Twitch deletes the VODs after a week or two. I want that shit up there forever. And so it's up there forever on YouTube if you uh, want to go see what went down on stream today. If you want to know when the next stream is, uh, follow me on Twitch or on Twitter uh, to know when I go live. And uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.